Are you tired of getting ran on in Madden 21? To be quite honest with you, I am exhausted of getting ran on in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. And in today's video, we're going to break down a run defense for you. Now, this run defense stops the one run to me, which is the hardest run to stop in Madden, in my personal opinion. It is the I-Form Type Power O. I think the I-Form Type Power O, um, if you run it on the goal line, you get a little bit better animations. But if you run it like as a general offense... Um, it's really hard to stop and uh, we're gonna break down in this video how to stop that now if you've never been to my channel before I break down Madden 21 trips and tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube for free so we typically do about four tip videos like this one every single day that show you how to stop something that's really really good or show you how to do something that's really really good and um, and so if you're interested in getting the access to those videos I'd highly encourage you to click the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen all right so the run defense that we're going to be showing you today comes from the nickel 335 wide it's a little bit aggressive but with the way man coverage plays this year it's actually really really effective especially for this i form type formation so uh, i'm just going to come out and i'm going to literally set this thing up like with everything i'm going to run power o iso blast stretch like truly the oakland tour right las vegas tour uh, but we're going to start with Power O, and real quick, your defensive settings. So if you go into coaching adjustments, we're going to want to put auto flip on. We want our auto alignment to base align, ball and air defense to play ball. Quarterback matchups are going to be on balance option defense on conservative. I personally uh, like to put these two things on conservative because I have recently been having a really big problem with broken tackles. But if you want to, you can just leave these on balance, try to get hit sticks. I would not recommend putting these on aggressive. You might put strip specialists or strip specialists on your user if you're playing mutt. Then it would make sense to put this on a strip uh, aggressive. But I've been getting a lot of face mask penalties if I try to do that. So anyways, I'm going to go with conservative right here and then put these at 25, the curl flats. Okay. So um, ideally what you would do is you would audible into this formation from the nickel 335 but if they're coming out in like i form tight it just makes sense just to come out at nickel 335 because they're not you know if they do pass you know it's going to be they're not going to pass a lot <laughs> i can guarantee you that so um the play that i like the most is the mike blitz zero um however you could do the mike blitz three if you wanted to do a zone version of this um if you wanted to do tampa two you could do that if you wanted to do cover three this is a universal run defense. It works out of everything. Cover one contain actually might be the best one um, of them all. I'm going to put that in my audibles. But I'll typically come out in Mike Blitz zero to start. Now, if they're going to throw it on me, maybe they want to throw some of the stuff from strong tight. Um, then I'll typically, you know, strong tight to me is not as hard to stop as I form tight because of the placement of the fullback. So if they come to strong eye tight, I'll typically audible to zone the cover three zone basically and just mabel on both sides and user the middle um but anyway we're, we're just going to focus on run defense for today not pass defense necessarily out of this now we are going to blitz everybody but again remember you, you can do there's a couple things you can do that um make this mike blitz play really really good it's because of how good man coverage is so we're going to start with this all right so we've auto flipped on so as you can see here um Murphy Buntling, he should be on the right side. So if you see something like this right here, just flip it. Um, or you could just man align. What you'll see is when you man align, it's going to bring him over here. You want him on the strong side of the formation. From there, all we're going to do is we're going to shift our line to the left. We're going to crash our line out. And we're going to sit kind of right in here with Levante David. Okay, we're going to sit right in here with Levante David. And let me kind of get my controller set up here. But basically, they're running power row. At the snap of the ball, we're going to shoot directly down right into this gap. Okay, We're just going to follow our blitz angle straight down. Snap of the ball, and we're off to a great start. We get picked up. Normally, you're not going to get picked up. Um, if they have – normally, the reason this is so uh, – and the reason why you want that slot corner um, out there, and this is where you might need to – let's see here. Shift our line left. Oh, I'm sorry. We forgot to spread the linebackers. That's what we forgot to do. So shift your line to the left. Spread your linebackers, and then I would just man align shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. That's really, really important so that you can stop corner routes and you can stop um, deep streak routes. Now, if they throw a post route, that's kind of your responsibility in the middle of the field. Anyway, snap of the ball, and that's what we're looking for right there. Instant hit stick in the backfield. 
So basically, the pulling guard is going to uh, go to the outside, and he is going to try to pick up. Um, he is going to try to pick up the the uh, da, 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 the outside corner. I'm sorry. So see here again, and and that time that's and this is what let me show you in this replay what's going on. This is why it's important to flip this thing to the strong side because sometimes auto flip in practice mode doesn't quite doesn't quite work exactly what it's supposed to. But with this play right here, so what you're going to see, the slot corner here is on the left side. You see him uh, right here. See he's a man coverage on the tight end. He needs to be over here. If he's not over here, there's a clear numbers advantage with this. As you can see, the um, the clear numbers advantage. I mean, they, it's literally one, two, three, four, five, six on three. So six on three is going to win every time. So that's why if you see your corner on the weak side, just flip the play, and he'll go to the other side. Man align, uh, press coverage, and then shift, and then you can do your line shifts and adjustments. And now you'll see we're able to come through and break that up in the backfield. So that's how you stop power O to the strong side. Now I want to show you how to stop power O to the weak side. And just get good at flipping the play, honestly. Uh, auto flip is kind of buggy in my opinion. It doesn't always work. Sometimes I just even leave it off. But it's the same exact shoot to the left side. The only difference is instead of shooting him, instead of shooting Lamonte David down, we're just going to basically run him to the left and click off. So snap of the ball. We see, oh, he's running power O, so we're just going to click off. And you'll see we'll let the computer handle this. We have a numbers advantage to that side because we've done the shifts of the linemen. So because of that numbers advantage, uh, we're going to be okay against the power O to left. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So we'll do this again. Now, if I try to shoot down with Devontae, Adda, or Devontae Davis, you see he's going to get caught right there, and that's going to be four to five yards. It's not going to work. You can't shoot down on a play side power O. You just it, it literally, I have not seen it be, be very effective. It's, it's all about backside shooting this year, in my opinion. So if they run at you, which would be the smart play by them, all you're going to do is just bring him down a little bit, click off. And you see that the formation itself, nickel 335 wide, and this is why the formation, in my opinion, is so important, um, it is going to be able to help you stop this run. So literally, we've man aligned. We've done everything we're supposed to do. Now, one thing you could also do if you wanted to, just to be a little bit more effective against that backside power row, is show blitz. If you show blitz, you see that left side safety is going to come up into the box. So here it is, power row again. I'm just going to click off, and you'll see that safety is going to come up and make the play. Um, if they're running a lot, you can spy your safeties. What I'm trying to do is not have to do that, um, unless I'm in like the goal line or something. You'll see here, if I spy my safeties on this specific play on a play side power o um they're gonna it's gonna be in the backfield as you can see right there so if it's you know if you really need to get a stop but you don't want to give up a bomb and you know they can't they can't pass you know just spy your safeties so that takes care of power o what about um halfback iso well it's the same shoot as you can see here we've flipped the play we've man aligned we've done all that now if they run iso you're just coming right in here and as you can see the sheds themselves are going to typically take care of that run. ISO to me is the hardest one to shoot. That's why I personally recommend getting out my way on your user because without my way, you're going to be able to basically blow that fullback up. But you see the shoot's fine, but you know it's just making that tackle in the backfield. One of the things that I've actually noticed with the shooting that's really, really important is not hitting turbo. Uh, trying not to hit turbo when you run through the A-gap. So you'll see right here. I'm not going to hit turbo, I'm not going to hit turbo, and then just basically blow it up. He is able to get out there on that one. But you see the, the lane um, is kind of shot right down this middle here. We'll show you this one more time. But that's where we're looking at right there. And, you know, again, if they're running ISO, like I said, I think out my way is really, really important. Uh, it's one of the most important abilities in the game, in my opinion. Make sure you have that, make sure you have that corner on the right side of the formation. So in this situation right here, you know, what you could do is you could take that left side safety, put him on a spy because he's just guarding the fullback. And so you know if they pass, then, you know, you just you just go take the fullback. But as you can see, we can kind of hang in there with that that run. That's That, to me, is one of the hardest runs to shoot um, this season. Uh, Power O and ISO, that combination of run plays are really, really hard to just blow up in the backfield from what I'm seeing, um, especially if you don't have out my way. If you don't have out my way, you know, it, it, can, it, it can just, you know, it's going to be a grind. Um, that's where you're going to have to spy your safeties, in my opinion, uh, this year. 
But anyway, let me show you. Um, let me show you sh uh, halfback blast. So halfback blast is a zone weak run to the left. You see that all I'm going to do with this one, and this one's going to have some decent success. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to run straight down into the bot or into the play, because typically there will be a lane that you can kind of shoot. And again, you, your placement is so, so important. I've found that this is about right in here. This is about the best placement that you can get. But snap right here, just run right through, and you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that instant hit stick on halfback blast, as you can see. So if they run blast or power O, you're hitting them in the backfield. If they run stretch, you're gonna be pretty solid against it. Um, we'll show you this again here. And this is stretch. So in stretch, I'll just typically run him over. Stretch is stretch has been severely patched. Even though it's been patched, it's still good and against the right defenses. Um, but overall with this, especially with the spread linebackers, having those two outside contains over there on that right, um, and you can contain the – if you if you want to, you can contain these guys. This will kind of get them to take a little bit wider angles. But you can also uh, run through that gap with Levante David. You might need to be a little bit more um, – you might just need to be a little bit more to the right here. So like right in here, right? Kind of right in here. And what you'll see now is if they run stretch, snap the ball, and you can kind of run it down from the backside. You also have pretty decent play side support. Like I'm not, stretch is not the run that scares me. The run that scares me is, um, in my opinion, is power O right now. Now what if they run stretch play side? So if they run stretch to your user side, uh, snap the ball, that's where you can really – you know, you're going to be able to handle stretch pretty easily to your user side of the formation. Okay? So that's stretch, power O, and ISO, um, and how to stop them. In my opinion, guys, I think running the ball, you know, might be, once again, the key to people's success. Um, I think the nickel 335 wide is probably the best run defense. Uh, big nickel over G is good. But the problem with Big Nickel over G, in my opinion, is it's really, really, really difficult to stop uh, halfback ISO and halfback, or not halfback ISO, but halfback power O. Um, and man, I don't know why that stretch is working so well. It's typically not, typically not. I think it's because I'm not spreading my linebackers. Um, don't forget, so real quick, the setup before we jump off here, shift your line to the left, spread your linebackers. You're shifting your line to the weak side. So for example, if they flip this play, you flip your play, okay? And then just flip it. Right, and now you can do that shoot to the left. I, I got scared and I didn't do it, but but you can you can do that shoot to the left to the opposite side. So literally, let's say he flips his play, you flip your play, and now you're just going to do everything to the opposite. As you can see right here, we're going to stand right here, spread the linebackers, snap of the ball, and that little gap right there is going to be open. Now, what I recommend doing, a lot of you will be tempted, a lot of you will be tempted to uh, hit stick, right? That's, I mean, that's what I struggle with too. Um, if you are tempted to hit stick, you need to click off. Literally, I'm just telling you from my experience, they will break the tackle. So I'm just going to get it through here and click off. And as you can see, the computer will do the tackling for you. Um, if you, if you just click off of it and all you gotta do is hit circle. So that's how to stop the run. That is the best that I've seen so far uh, as far as run defense goes in this game, uh, at least from these tight sets. Now, against close, I form close, wing flex close, all that stuff, that's going to be fine. Um, this run defense is going to be fine against most of that. Uh, I'll get in the lab and cook some more stuff up for you on that. But this is how you stop some of those heavy packages, like strong wing, you know, I form tight, strong tight, that kind of stuff. Um, with those those – HB dives from this is really hard to stop because it's hard to shoot because of the tight ends. But with this defense right here, you're going to be able to do all right against Power O, and you're going to be able to do all right against Stretch, Blast, and ISO. Um, toss, basically you just run through the middle and, again, click off. The key is kick clicking off of the player. Uh, to me, that helps a lot because the, the computer pursuit will basically steer him towards it. You don't have to do as much. And it may be a weak way to play run defense, but it's the best way I've known to do it. Um, this has helped me really, really start to, to kind of turn, turn, um, turn down the ability of people that have to run the ball. So um, if you want to join our text message membership, we've got a lot more in-depth run defense tutorials. We've got one video that's like 50 minutes long that shows you how to stop the run out of every popular formation in the Raiders playbook. We have... 
um, several uh, videos in there about pass defense. We have uh, an over an hour breakdown of the gun bunch uh, from the Carolina Play Panthers playbook. So if you're looking for those free Madden tips at high level, uh, the Texi membership is a great place to be able to get that. It's literally 100% free. All you have to do is pull out your cell phone right now, shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. And just shoot me a text message. Let me know you want to receive those videos. Also, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, you can join the Discord. That link is in the description. Discord is basically um, a community where you can talk Madden 24-7 if you've never been in a Discord before. Um, it's just a play. It's basically just a chat room. Um, but it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a great place to be able to connect with other people in the community. Um, and then last but not least, if you want the entire defensive scheme from this playbook right here, you could pick my ebook up in the description of the video. It comes with my full offense, my full defense. It has over 125 uh, pages of material on it. We'll show you how to stop the run. We'll show you how to stop the pass. We'll show you how to stop in the red zone. How to lock up. Uh, and we'll have be uh, getting you some really good material on that. So if you haven't already picked that up, I'd highly, highly encourage you to do that today. Um, and then last but not least, if you're really struggling in Madden and you really, really need some one-on-one -on -one help, I have personal one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions available that are in the description below. Those coaching sessions, I guarantee you, will really help you uh, take your game to the next level because I will be able to get into some of the finer nuances and the new little details of what is actually going on. So I'd highly encourage you to pick up that as well. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, so be sure to come by. Uh, links to those channels are in the description of this video. We'll also announce that on the Discord whenever we go live. So if you're not in Discord, make sure you get in Discord so you know um, the latest updates. Other than that, guys, we'll see you tonight.